Y uh, it means that we don't just say yes or no answers, right? We explain together uh, our group. Okay. So first of all, let's discuss about using cash or using accounting earnings to calculate returns. So we're going back here to the start of returns. Okay, so we're just going to discuss with our group. Then I will ask, uh, first you will discuss with your group, then I will choose uh, somebody to answer the question and we'll discuss as the class. Okay? So, um, the first question you should dis discuss with your partner is when we are measuring returns, should we use accounting earnings or should we use cash flows? Okay, so discuss with your group what's the difference between cash and accounting? How is accounting different from cash? And which should we use when we're doing returns? Okay? Discuss with your group. While you're doing that, I will call the attendant so I can see who I can ask. Okay. Oh, you, Jim. Trey, Kim Sung Jung. Hi, Chang Ho. Oh, you, Jim. Trey, Sung Jung. Oh, Jamin. You make you. You don't do. E main hands. E on song. 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 E you should be discussing with your group okay, about this. What is the difference between accounting earnings and cash, cash flows? Okay, we can show something in cash. Is it the same when we do accounting? What's the difference? Then check the slide. Discuss, explain to your partner. Okay? Chang Yun Suk. Trey Jin Yang. Paul Song Yang. Wang Dong Jun. Kim Tae Hyun. Kang Yu Ran. Go from accounts. Go So Yang. Go So Yang. What's the difference? Gu Yang Hun. Kim Do Yang. Kim Mi Jin, Kim Bo Ran, Kim Bo Mi, Kim Su In, Kim Jin Su, Kim Tae Su, Kim Ye Na, Kim Wei Jin, Park Jae Yong, Park Chang Yong, Park Kyo Won, Ahn Ye Rin, Oh Eun Ji, Won Ye Min, Yu Byung Han, Han, Yoon Sung Ho, Lee Ga Hye, Lee Jae Hong, Lee Hong Jae, Lee Im Yoon Ho, Im Jae Hong, Im Ji Hoon, Im Ji Hoon, Im Chae Ryong, Chang Min Young, Chang So Young, Chang Yoo Na, Choi Young Jae, Chu A Young, Hong Dae, Kim Da Kyung, Wang Ye Jin, Hak Myung Jung, Yi Young Min, Wang Dong Tae, Park Myung Jun, Kim Ah Rong, Park Jung Won, Hong Young Hae, Wang Esther, Kim Sang Hae, Song Eun Ji, Eun Hae, Park Min Ji, 
Yang Sung Wan. Sarah Guy. Here. Wan Jung Bin. Here. Park Hyun Chung. Here. Lee Jae Young. Here. Lee Tae Young. Here. Chang Young Min. Here. Choi Hwan Jun. Lee Hae Ren. Kim Yao Jin. Kim Yoon Na. Kim Yoon Na. Figure skating today. Sung Chao Sung. Yang Eun Young. Eiji Sung. Jung Ji Young. Ara Tan. Daria. Daria Anastasia. Okay, so let's uh, ask some groups. So group seven, O U J. Yes. What is the main difference between accounting earnings and cash flows? Hmm? You haven't finished discussing yet. Did you ask her? Did you tell her? Okay, take another minute to discuss. Can you repeat the question? What is the main difference between accounting earnings and cash flows? Do you understand earnings? <coughs> when we do accounting, we make an income statement like this, right? Or a balance sheet like this. So this is accounting earnings. Okay? So what is the main difference between accounting earnings, showing things with accounting earnings, and cash? Is it the same? Or is it different? cash coming in and out or what we write down on our accounts. Is that the same or different? What's the difference between what we write on our accounts and the cash coming in and out? What is the main difference? Discuss with your partner. So ask your partner. The question. Yes. Yeah. 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 The answer is written on this slide, the first slide. Cash 
don't know. Do you know? Okay. Uh, where is uh, Kim Sung Jung? Yes? What is the difference between the cash flow and the accounting earning? Is there any reason why you guys sit at the very back of the class? If you, there are no seats up here. Can you, can you guys who are sitting at the back of the class come and sit here, please? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If you sit at the back of the class, then if I ask you a question, it's hard to hear the answer. Okay? It's also difficult for you to hear the lecture. It's better to sit at, up here. So there are seats up here, so please sit up here. Also, the other students, one, two, three, four, five, can you come and sit here, please? <laughs> there are seats up here, up here. Six seats here. In the center of the class, okay? Appreciation is British English. Okay, so uh, where is Bak Chang Ho? Bak Chang Ho? Yes, what is the difference between accounting earnings and cash flow? Cash flow is only. Yes, only cash. So it shows when the goods are paid. So the cash <coughs> is we get paid for the goods, right? Accounting earnings. It shows not when we get paid for the goods, but when we sold the goods. Do you understand the difference? No. I sold something. Do I get the money immediately in no. business? In a shop, if I sell something, do I get the money immediately? Yes. Usually, but sometimes the supermarket will ask you, do you want to pay il shibot? What? Something like that. Right? In once off or every month. So for companies, they don't usually pay immediately. Okay? We pay after three months. So according to accounting earnings, we count the money now, but we don't have the cash. So that's different. Do you understand that difference? Yeah. So we already studied about financial statements in week one or week two, right? We talked about this on the income statement. Okay. Um, we talked about also depreciation and accrual accounting. Accrual accounting means the revenue from selling a good or a service is recognized in the period in which the good is sold or the service is performed. Okay? So this is the first difference. Does everybody understand this difference? So it's December. I send goods to customer. Okay? In three months later, in February, Customer sends goods, sends cash to me. Under cash, if we think cash, this is 2014, this is 2015. If we use cash, which year did I get paid according to cash? 2014 or 2015? 15, I got the cash. According to accounting earnings, which year did I get paid? 2014 or 2015? 2014. So it's different. The accounting earning, when we send the goods, we send the invoice, we sold the goods. Okay? The revenue from selling a good 
is recognized in the period in which the good is sold. The goods were sold in December. I made a profit in December, according to accounting. To cash, we sold the goods in February, or we got the cash in February, so I get the goods in February. Does everybody understand this? So do you have to record both of them? Like when? In 2014, December, I had to write that I sold the goods but not cash records. When we record things, we use accounting. Accounting way to record things. Okay? This is the way we normally record things. But now what we are doing is we are calculating returns on a project. So what we are saying, when we are calculating returns on a project, it's better to use cash than accounting. So normally we record things this way. This is accounting. If you're an accountant, you will record things like this. Okay? But we are trying to change this to cash way. For just for calculating returns on a project. Do you understand what we're doing here? This is what the way we record things normally. This is accountancy. Do you understand accountancy? Way yet? Do you study accountancy? Yeah. Accountancy is recording things. Right? So you ask me how do we record this? This is how we record this. Okay? But when we are calculating returns, we could use the accounting way or we could use the cash flow way. It's better to use the cash flow way. So we're talking about how is the cash flow different from accounting? This is number one reason. Okay, this is not the most important reason. But it's one reason which is different. Okay, uh, so uh, Pak uh, Chang Ho, you told me the first reason. Can you tell me another reason why it is different? Cash flow and accounting. That's one reason why cash flow and accounting is different. What's another reason? Yes, this is the one we already talked about, right? What about another one? Another one? Another reason why their cash flow is different from accounting earnings? Okay, uh, OE Tech, yes, can you tell us another reason? She already said that, but the question is, how is cash flow different from accounting earnings? <coughs> this is one difference. Accrual account this is called accrual accounting, right? This is cash flow, this is accrual accounting. What's the second difference? It's written on the slide, if you have the slide. You can see there's two main differences here. Accrual accounting, and what's the second one? If you read on the slide. What is the second reason? Depreciation. So how does that work in accounting? We have depreciation. So how does that work? In the accounting view, what do we do with depreciation? What does depreciation mean? Uh, value is decreased. Value decreases every year. 
Yes. Yes. So how does that work in the accounting? We have year one, year two, year three, year four. We buy a car. Right? When do we have the expense for the car? With depreciation, we're talking about expenses, right? When do we have the expenses for the car, according to accounting? Hmm? What do you think? Am I going to, according to accounting, will I write the car costs $20,000? 20,000, dollars? 20, 000, 000, 000. is this correct? In accounting? No, then how is it done? Straight line depreciation. If we do straight line, what will the number be? Four years, 20,000. What's 20,000 divided by four? Five thousand. Five thousand. Year two? Five thousand. Okay, year three? Five thousand. Year four? Five thousand. What about cash? When we spent the cash, when is it the cash accounted for? Is the cash the same? Five th we pay for our car 5000 each year? We, we bought the car at the start. When do we have to pay for the car? One year. Year zero, right? Or year one? 20,000. So this is the cash way. This is the accounting way, right? So this is the main difference between cash and accounting, okay? So in accounting, we can use expense every year. In cash, we do at the start, okay? So this could be a car, it could be research and development, could be anything, right? This is called Capital expenditure. Capital expenditure. Okay, so there were a lot of students who didn't know the answer to this question. So now that we've explained the answer, discuss with your partner again the, qu the answer to the question. Okay? So I'll discuss the question again. What is the main difference between cash flow and accrual accounting? There are two main differences. What are the two main differences? And explain with your partner. Video. It's financial statements. Okay. 
we can see here explains about the uh, operating and capital expenses. Okay. So some we said that in accounting these things are unusual, right? Operating expenses should reflect the expenses that create revenues in the current period. Operating means day-to-day -day business. But in practice, some expenses are classified as operating expenses that do not meet this test. Okay? So buying a car is not an operating expense. It's a once-off cost. Okay? Uh, research and development is not an operating expense. We pay it at the start. Okay? Operating lease expenses, they're not, again, we pay a lot of money for a lease at the start. So, those things can, we can, in accountancy, we use this kind of way. It's different than the cash flow. Okay? This way is called depreciation. So, basically, we can use depreciation in accounting, but depreciation is not a cash thing. Right, cash is not coming in or out with depreciation. So, do you have any question about this one? So, let's uh, continue then. Uh, so, discuss with your partner. What is a project? What are some characteristics of a project? So, if I asked you to give me the definition of a project, what would you say? What is a project? So, just ask your partner. Define project. Ask your partner. So, just imagine that I ask you the question, right? And try to answer the same way as your partner. What is a project? Realization of some idea. in your own words what is a project creating separate sets of rules do you understand project do you understand the word project Characteristics does a project have? Do you understand characteristic? What common things in common do projects have? If we look up project in the dictionary, what will we see? Pretend that she doesn't understand English, she doesn't know what a project is. Explain projects to her in English. Do you understand project? I understand Korean. Yes, then explain to her in Korean. Mm -hmm. 
Somebody will translate later. Explain to her in Korean what is the project. Do you know what a project is? You also use the word project in Korean, right? Do you use the word project in Korean? Yes. Do you understand what a project is? In Korean? Then can you explain to her in Korean what a project is? Can you translate? When I work on something, I make a plan, I make some new structure. Yes, so what characteristics does the project have? Do you understand the word characteristic? What does characteristic mean in Korean? Okay, so what Tukjin does the project have? <laughs> but they have some things in common, right? Things in common that a project has is a large upfront cost. Do you understand upfront? What does upfront mean? Hmm? Before we start the project, there's a cost, right? So, secondly, we get some cash flow coming in. And lastly, we have a salvage value. Did you make any uh, tent for the festival? From the Global Business Department? Did anybody make some tent selling pajo? Hmm? Or selling some drink? Who, who was involved in doing that? Who was involved in, in the festival, making, a, making, selling something at the festival? Hands up. All the people who were, they already drank all the money they earned. <laughs> so they couldn't come to class today. Anyway, at the start they had the upfront cost. They had to buy all the beer, right? Maybe they had to pay some rent for the stall, right? So they had to pay money beforehand. Then during the festival, they got money coming in and going out, okay? And at the end, they drank their salvage value, right? Probably they could have sold the rest of the drink somewhere else or something. But that's not practical, so probably they just drank it. So they, anyway, there was a salvage value at the end. Sell the stuff that we didn't sell during the festival. Okay, so finance projects have these things in common. Yes? Upfront cost is. Uh, capital just means money. Upfront cost just means. Uh, upfront means before you start. Do you understand front? Front of the car? Upfront at the start. Just means at the start. Okay? Do you understand salvage value? Yes. Hmm? So discuss with your partner, what does salvage value mean? What is salvage value? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so uh, all mean you. Where is all mean you? Yes, what does salvage value mean? 
After depreciation, what? What's left? What's left after depreciation? Namo genin is what's left. Okay. Salvage value is what we have left. What is left? Left over. Or what's left. Okay? The end of the project. So, for example, if Disney runs a theme park, after 50 years, we don't need a theme park anymore. Kids think it's not cool anymore to go to theme parks. They want to play with some 3D holo holo holographic thing, which was invented in the future. What salvage can Disney get from its theme park? What will be left at the end? The theme park is closed down. What's left? Attractions. Mm -hmm. Just what kind of money could they get? Uh, land. Land. Some. Maybe they could sell the attraction for scrap metal. Right? Like, if your car is left at the end, you can get, you can sell your car. You might get a thousand dollars for the metal. You understand the metal? Yes. Right, that kind of thing. So we discussed about uh, the uh, Disney. So discuss with your partner. How could Disney know about estimate about the revenue? and expenses. So how can Disney make an estimation of revenue and expenses? Do you understand estimate? Yes. yes. What does estimate mean in Korean? Yes. In Korean. Yes. Yeah, so how can Disney do that for their revenues and their expenses? Where do they get the numbers from? Discuss with your partner. This is an important part of calculating the return, right? Very important part. How much revenue are we going to get? We have to guess. What are our expenses going to be? We have to guess. How do we guess those things? What do we use? How did Disney do that? Uh, Yu Dong Wu, not here. Uh, Yi Min Han, where is Yi Min Han? Yes, how did Disney guess its revenues and expenses? Okay, uh, Jin Yong. Where's Chui Jin Yong? Yes. If you're working for Disney and they ask you to make a guess about our revenues and expenses for Disneyland Rio. What are you going to use to help you to make that guess? You don't have any income yet. You have to guess the income and you have to guess the expenses. What are you going to use to help you to guess that? It's a key part of measuring our return. If you're working in the festival, 
right? And you're selling the drink at the festival. How could you guess how much drink you're going to sell? What would you use to help you to guess how much drink you're going to sell? Yes, but there's an easier way. Was there a festival last year? So now, what are you going to use to help you to estimate your sales at the festival? Compare with last year's revenue, right? If there are more students, 10% more students this year, maybe you could sell 10% more, right? Do you think that's a good way to guess your revenue for the festival, or not a good way? Yes. So now let's move on to Disney's theme park. How are you going to advise Disney to guess their revenues for the theme park? Does Disney have other theme parks? Do other theme parks exist in the world? Other countries theme park compared? Yes. Right. So we look at our revenues in Euro Disney in the US. Okay. We look at another theme park in Brazil. If you open a theme park in Korea, you'd look at Lotte World and Everland. What kind of revenues do they get? Is my company going to be that different? If I make a theme park, people are going to want to go there, right? So I can make a guess how much revenues I'm going to get, how much expenses I'm going to get. Okay? The same thing for expenses. What is the expenses in the theme park? It's the same for the festival. Okay? What are your expenses? The beer is the same price as last year. Okay, your expenses will be about the same, more or less. So this is how Disney estimates their revenues. Okay, and the op operating expenses is 60% of the revenues. <coughs> so, yes? Of course, for festival, because it's not a huge money, but yes. for a team park, it's probably like really expensive to raise or establish team park. Mm -hmm. So comparing with last year, revenue is going to be a good way to do it. Uh, there's no perfect way to say exactly how many people will go there, right? But we're using this to help us. Because usually we set up the theme park in France, then the first year the numbers were low, the second year the numbers got higher, the third year the numbers got higher as people got to know about the theme park, right? So we expect it will be a similar trend in Brazil. Okay? First year, the numbers, second year. Okay, Fran France has a different population than Brazil, a different income. So it can be different. But we're going to look at that. We're going to look at in the US, when it started in the US, in the new park, how did it go? We look at another theme park in Brazil, or in another emerging economy if there is a theme park in India or China, okay? We look at that information, we put that information together, and we'll make an educated guess. Is our guess going to be correct? No, no. no, but we have to make an educated guess to decide whether we're going to do the project or not. Okay, but is it going to be pretty accurate? Probably, right? A lot of the time, uh, we can make some guess about what's going to happen based on what happened in the past. Okay. So your question is just like a nonsense question, because Why? there's no great answers for that. Yes, but we have to make a guess. Do you think that we should just uh, go into the room and I just, should just ask you, what do you think? Mm -hmm. And you say, hmm, probably we'll get about 10,000 customers the first year. <laughs> Which is better, doing that or looking at the trend for Euro Disney and the trend in the other economies? Which is better? Trend? Which is more accurate? Yes, so there's no 100% accurate way to know the future, but we have to try and find our best way to predict the future. So let's take a break now for 10 minutes.